What's cracking? Today I'm back to work on the Dodge Charger police car. My plan today is to try to get the radiator out, the fan out, and the AC uh, condenser out. I think the AC condenser is good, even though I bought another one. It's still holding Freon because I tried to, I pushed on the little tab and some Freon came out. But it does look kind of banged up at the bottom a little bit. So I'll probably just go ahead and replace it because I have all of them here. I got all the parts for that. I've got the lower cradle for that and everything so i'm gonna get all that pulled out try to get all that put back in and get all that buttoned up and then the next thing we're gonna work on is painting uh, we're actually gonna put the front end on mock it up and we're gonna next paint. thing i'll be working on is mocking up and painting the front end after that and then we're gonna take the cop car light off we're gonna fill that in we're gonna start body working it and uh, masking it off paint the top paint the front and get it done. Stay tuned. All right, so I got all that dropped out of there, as you can see. Good thing I bought the new fan, because this one's toast. All that stuff is pretty much wasted. So I got this support in the box over there. This thing was totally twisted. So I've got that bottom support right here. I've got the radiator, the fan, and the condenser. All right here. So let's get them put together. All right, so I got it all together. Here it is, the new radiator, condenser, and fan. All put together. Kind of just compared it to the other one to make sure everything was in the right place. I had to pull these out of the old condenser. They're the mounting bolts for these hoses. So what I'm gonna do is, actually this is the connection that goes in there. I don't need this wire. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna plug everything up, kind of prop it up in here a little bit and just kind of like plug, you know, uh, connect the hoses so it kind of supports itself in there. And then I'll put this bottom cradle in there and I think that locks it in and it should be good to go. Got it all put back together. Boom. Everything's hooked up, ready to go. All brand new. It's in a really good. So it's getting kind of late here. I'm gonna have to call it a day. But next we just fill up the coolant, let it bleed through, and that part should be good. And we can move on to putting the bumper on. I'm going to fit this up. If I got to body work it any, I'm going to body work it. Then the next step after that is to remove this light. Fill in these holes. There's a hole right there I'm going to fill in with metal. Um, I'm actually going to tape all this off and I'm going to paint this whole top black. All the way back to like right here. I'm going to bust a line like right there on both sides all the way back. And then... I also have to install the wing. I bought a wing. It's actually in that box right there. I haven't taken out and looked at it. 
but that should be pretty sick. It's just like a stock, like, um, Hellcat wing to go on there. And then after that, I'm going to install the bigger TV inside. I got the bigger TV kit for that from somebody. So I'm going to install the bigger TV and I'm on the hunt for some rims because those are hubcaps. Well, those are rims, but you know, the hubcaps on them. So I'm going to hunt for some original all black Dodge rims. So that that's going to, that'll probably complete it and the build will be pretty much done. I still have to figure out also what to do with these lights. If I can open these, I haven't, I haven't researched that yet. I'm sure you can open those, maybe heat that, that sealant up with a heat gun and open that and clean those out really good and then put it back together or just replace them. They are kind of expensive. They're pricey, they're like five fifty, six hundred bucks for the pair. So we'll see what we're going to do with that. And then I also have to get this cover right here. And this thing, I'm, I'm assuming this is, this feels like it's plastic. It doesn't feel like it's metal. See how it's got that little bit of like rust in there? Maybe it is metal. I don't know. Maybe that part's metal. This part, this is definitely plastic right here. So this must be metal. I'm going to bust all that down and paint all that and then put that cover on there and try to get the other cover for the sides there. And that should finish it up. Then maybe we can do some crazy mods like exhaust. And the rims really determines maybe I'll do a wide body kit on this thing. You know, I saw this one that's huge, like a huge wide body. So you can stick really deep rims on there. Maybe I'll mess around with stuff like that. Let me know. What's cracking? It's another day here. And I managed to find the nut that fits the bolt to the rack and pinion. It was a mission, but I ended up going to Fastenal and they had it because I actually went to the Dodge dealer and they were telling me they didn't have, they don't necessarily sell all the bolts uh, for a Dodge to repair a Dodge, which was kind of weird. So I don't know. I think the guy was just kind of being a jerk that day. And I was like, okay, just got the, got what I could get and got out of there. So I managed to find a flange um, nut for this bolt. This is the passenger side bolt that holds in the rack and pinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that buttoned up today. And I'm gonna put some radiator fluid in it because we got all the cooling stuff back in there. I got all the hoses hooked up, got all the lines hooked back up. I got all the mounts installed and everything's ready to go as far as that goes. Mechanically, the only thing I think left is an ABS sensor because I was getting that code on the passenger side. So I'm gonna replace that, um, maybe not right now. What I wanna do is just get all this buttoned up get the radiator fluid in, let it cycle through for a little bit, make sure I get warm, warm air, maybe take it for a little test drive, and then I'm going to start mocking up the front end and making sure everything aligns there. And after I get that all buttoned up and mocked up, I'm going to pull it back off, and then we're going to take off the cop light, fill the holes, body work that, start masking everything off, painting. Um, I also got to put the rear wing on. I haven't even opened that yet to see what that looks like, so... You guys are going to get a first look at that. I think it's just a stock, I think, like Hellcat wing that goes on the back of these. So that should be pretty cool. And then we'll move on to the headlights. So for now, let's get this bolt installed and get the radiator fluid put in, get it cycling, make sure there's no leaks, and go from there. Stay tuned. Alright, so let's get the antifreeze in, start cycling it, get it going through there, make sure we don't have any leaks.
So I'm gonna go ahead and let that get to temp. I'll get back with you. All right, so I let it get up to temp. It started to actually overheat while I was sitting here. The radiator fan never kicked on, so I'm assuming that fuse is blown or the wiring's messed up in here somewhere. Or, yeah, it's gotta be one of the two or the fan is bad from the factory, which I hope not. Um, we'll see though. I'll check it out and go down the list of things and see what we can figure out. So I got it filled with antifreeze. It hasn't really cycled through. It started to overheat a little bit and the fan is kicking on like I told you. So I kind of wiggled some of the some of the relays and I checked all the fuses. They're all good. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm going to take it for a little drive here. I'll let it sit for a minute. I let it sit for a minute and then the battery was dead. And then now it's over, now I put a jump pack on it and got it to start. So let's take it for a little ride. Let's see what happens. If we get moving, it shouldn't overheat. All right, so here we go. It runs great. It does have an engine code on now, which I don't think it had on before. I can check that with my reader, but I actually forgot it. So let's go for a little test drive. It's not overheating because we're moving and it's freezing cold outside. But I'm pretty sure the fan is still not working. I unplugged it, plugged it back in checked all the relays that was all good does sound like there's a little like maybe lifter knock or something when i step on it really hard you hear it a little bit maybe it's from sitting for a really really long time and the oil hasn't got all the way through the motor nah, i kind of hear it when i stop too and it goes away it's weird. Take it for a little spin. Yeah, I definitely hear some rattling or like lifter noise or something. Adjusted. It's heating up already pretty fast here. So let's get it back to the garage. Like I said, the fan definitely isn't working. So let me get it back in the garage and we'll try to figure that out. It was reading engine temperature hot. And then I drove it up this hill and got it back to the garage. Like everything kind of sloshed around and you can see there. And now it's not all the way on the hot line. Let's see what's up with this. See if the fan started working on us. It honestly sounds like the fan's on. The fan is definitely on. How weird is that? It wasn't working at all, but now it's on, cooling the car off. How freaking weird. But I do hear like an engine knocking noise up here a little bit when I get on it. It sounds like, it doesn't sound like anything major it sounds like maybe it could just be um ignition knock from bad gas it could also be that so it doesn't like i said it's not non-stop and it doesn't sound like a deep like rod or anything but you can definitely hear it popping a little bit that's crazy i came i came up that hill and it jogged something loose because the fan started working huh should be cooling itself off now. Let's check it. Yeah, it's, it's not going all the way down, but it's, it's not all the way up either. Let's check the heat here. I think also, you know, the, uh, the radiator fluid hasn't ran through either, but 
yeah it's, it's just lukewarm so it's probably you know got a got a air bubble in it so we'll try to work that out oh, i think we're on the right path though awesome out again after the fan started working and it kind of keeps going up and down saying hot temperature low temperature so i think i think there's bubbles in it in the in the um cooling system so it's not all the way hot let's just run it and see what happens see if i can get those worked out of there it runs and drives great though there's definitely no problem with it with the way it runs but i do feel the heat getting warm and cold warm and cold so i'm assuming it needs to be bled or just drove you know that engine code might even go off after i drive but i've got the obd reader so i can check it out and see what's going on with it but it definitely runs great the heat goes down when i drive it no issues so far fingers crossed yeah that fan just started kicking on after i drove it it's pretty weird actually after i drove it up that hill like a maniac it started working it runs it drives straight as an arrow doesn't even feel like it needs an alignment my hand's not even on the wheel it's driving straight down the street i'd say it's a win so far we can keep it running good <laughs> get the uh get the coolant running through it get the bubbles out of it so in like a split second it goes and says the temperature's high and actually see now it goes down when i'm driving that's just because i'm getting air through the fan then, or through the radiator there but it's like the fan well there's got to be a bubble in the in that cooling system there's got to be but the car definitely oh rolls out <laughs> Get it back in the garage check. all right so as soon as we get back to the garage the temperature starts to go down it's weird isn't it it's like the fan is kicking on and off up there i can hear the fan right now just running fine there has to be an air bubble in the system but that should be able to get worked out it should bleed itself out actually i would think be there but we'll see I can't tell that was 50-50 coolant, so I can't really tell if that's cool or not. Doesn't look like it. So let's let's let it cool off and get some more in there. All right, I drove it. Got most of the bubbles out of the cooling system. The, air, the heat started to get hot. Runs perfect. It's not overheating. I actually drove it all the way down to the parts store to get a light bulb for it. So I think there's a little, you can see it's cooling off now and the radiator fluid's going down. So I'll wait till it cools all the way off. It's probably still just a little low so i'll fill that up pretty much all the mechanical stuff is buttoned up on it now let's move on to the cool stuff like trying to get this bumper on let's uh just kind of mock this up here and see what it looks like this hellcat front end i'm gonna have to take it all out i know there's you know there's a piece that goes in here that holds it together so i'm gonna have to pop that in just temporarily so we can get it stable and let's get it let's see if we can get it fitted in there and just see what it's going to look like all right all right so i got the whole front end kind of just rough mocked up in there not really you know secure too well or the center like put in all the way but it looks really really good check it out boom that's the hellcat front end looks pretty good like i said the grill I didn't I didn't put those all the way in like I didn't snap those in up and down so when I when I snap those in that that little gap right there will push up and everything will be nice and solid but I like it I think it looks really good so what I'm gonna do is that's all the grills that are inside I'm just gonna leave them that color um, both grills and then this part right here that covers that I'm gonna leave that black just that that raw black and then I think these trim pieces might come up, or I might have to take those off and leave those black. I'm gonna paint all the rest of this silver to match the car. 
And then there's these. These are pretty crazy. These are really thick, hard bumper covers to be removed by dealer. Okay. So I don't know if this is for shipping or what. It says they're paintable though. In the box it says they're paintable. Let me show you. It came in this box. Front lip protector, paintable. So I guess, and there's places to mount this underneath. I mean, this would be cool if I painted all this like silver and then had that black, that black, and then this kind of like shiny black on the end. I think that'll look really cool. And it does protect the, the corners. I think that'll give it a nice little accent. And then there's little, there's little vents and stuff that go inside of here, which is cool. This is actually a pretty good kit from eBay. It was from California. This go also goes inside of there for support. I want to say it was $6.99 or $7.99. And this is the second kind of like front end I've bought from this company. And they do line up fairly well. You can see I haven't, you know, I haven't bolted it in. I just got something like kind of rough holding it in there. But this stuff lines up pretty good once I get it, once I get it all straightened out and get everything mounted back up. Like I said, this right here, it's not attached inside the bumper yet. So when it gets attached, you can see it'll come up like that. And then everything should, should go back in and, and fit like it's supposed to. There may be a little gap and you can see this, this already kind of has a gap anyway, probably from the accident. So I might have to pull this over a little bit with my frame machine or just loosen that maybe and close that gap just a little bit. It's kind of like that over here too, a little bit. So I can probably loosen those and kind of push them in. And you can see this isn't, isn't in there. But overall, I mean, dang, for a six or $700 kit, that's pretty dope. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like on it. Leave me some comments. And also go check out my Instagram. It's bigbuilds100. So it's big builds with a Z, the number one zero zero. You can catch all kinds of other cool content that I throw on there, like cars that I just see, I throw those on there. Like I just saw a Hellcat that was in a Copart yard that was just sitting in the back no one knew about. Put that on there. My Rat Rod was on there. I put like a Jeep Trailhawk on there that I saw and just all kinds of cool stuff and updates. So make sure you follow that, that uh, Instagram too. And I really appreciate you guys. Let's build some cool stuff. Peace.